New on the now right now, breeding bison, it ain't easy. They're trying to replenish the population while making sure the DNA is entirely purebred. The now's Kristen Scovera joins us live. And Kristen, it looks like they managed to do it at least so far. <laughs> That's right. It's a big weekend if you're a bison or a conservationist at heart. Take a look at these guys. Ten purebred bison are going to be released this weekend, and they're going to be in a 1,000 acre open space on Sunday. Now, the bison pasture is known as the Soapstone Prairie Natural Area. It's just north of here in Fort Collins. You might remember last year, black footed ferrets, they were also introduced to this area. The herd was created using reproductive technology since purebred American bison that hasn't been crossed with cattle only exists in a few pockets of North America, Yellowstone being one of those places. So, Colorado State University and the USDA have partnered up to take genetic material from Yellowstone bison and they've created this special genetically pure herd. Our goal is really to be able to allow these animals to go out and contribute their genes to other herds to help um, just kind of reinforce the health and genetics of the bison populations that already exist and maybe even potentially help create new herds in places where it's appropriate. This project has been more than a decade in the making. It's a very big deal. There's a big event on Sunday here in Fort Collins, but that event is already full. But don't worry if you want to see these guys. They're going to be at the park for the next month, all of November, before it closes for the winter time. Live in Fort Collins, Kristen Scovira, back to you guys. Looks like they're getting one last good meal in. Thanks, Kristen.